Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Structural RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Today, for all those looking out for a used Chevy unit, we have behind me a 2016 Chevy Silverado 1500. This one is the LTZ trim. Just under 70,000 miles. We'll give you the actual mileage once we get inside. This unit is actually pretty clean. So we're gonna take a walk around this one. And if it, if it gets you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me at the end of this video or you guys could comment below. Again, for all those first time on this website, you guys could click on the link below. You will see more pictures of this unit, prices, ways of getting financing and all that good stuff on the link directly below this video. We're gonna check up front here. Chevy does an amazing job with their look. I have a Chevy, a 2019, so the, the front look is a little bit different because as the years go by, they try to you know, upgrade. But again, from 2016, this is a great look. You have the Chevy badge right here. This one is a Z71 off-road package. So we have a stamp that will show up up here and also on the side of the bed. So it does have protection underneath that unit to protect the engine, transmission, all the way down to the fuel tanks underneath there. This one does come with front and rear sensors. So this little circles or buttons you see up front on the front bumper, those are the sensors for that front, for the front end. Of course, we have LED lights for fog lights and headlights. We're gonna take, underneath, uh, take a look underneath the hood. This unit is actually running right now and you could hardly even hear anything coming from the engine. But again, what you guys are looking at is a 5.3 liter V8 gas engine. This unit produces about 355 horsepower and about 383 foot pounds of torque. Again, this unit came in, went to our local dealer for service and it is ready and set to leave the lot as we speak. As we come around here, we're gonna check out those tires. Those are 275, 55R20s. And of course you got those Chevy rims. It is chrome rims. There is a little bit of wear and tear on there, but again, it is a used vehicle. This one is a Silverado, so you have that Silverado badge up here. Typically, sometimes you will see the 1500 mark on some, some of those units and some of those don't have it. As you guys can see, this unit is fully tinted. We're going to take a quick look at the front interior. You do have gray leather seats. Front seats are heated and cool. And I'll show you guys those buttons once we get inside. One thing about this particular unit, it does come with memory seats. So it has two settings up here. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. This one also have the option for folding mirrors as well. Right here, we got all your controls for your lights. I typically leave it on auto, so this one does have daytime running lights. But again, with having it on auto, when it gets dark enough, the headlights will come on by itself. Again, if you want to trigger the fog lights, there is a button, the centerpiece right here. You could press it in, and then the fog light switch will show up on the, on the dash, and that's a way to turn on your fog lights. A lot of people think with the automatic switch or the automatic setting, the fog light will come on automatically. It doesn't. You'll have to turn it on every single time by pressing this button right here. When we go inside, I'm going to press this button again and show you guys what light to look for on your dash. This one does come equipped with a trailer brake system. Your minus gain and your positive gain. So if you want to add gain to the braking on that. And then right here next to the switch for your lights, you have a dimmable switch here. So when you go down, you decrease the lighting. And when you go up, you increase the lighting especially when you're driving at night. This one does come equipped with the Bose entertainment system. So you have Bose sound throughout the whole 
the truck, storage. It is a crew cab, so the back seat does have tons of leg room. Again, underneath the seats, you got storage. This one does come equipped with tour mirrors. So whenever you're looking to tow and you need that extra mirror, it does have the attachment here for extra visibility, especially when you're towing. You got your gas tank here. We got a 26 gallon gas tank. And we do have a turbo hitch. This is a two inch ball, two inch drop ball. We do have a two and five sixteen ball inside as well. So if you want to interchange that. I did mention rear sensors. So you have those rear sensors up here. And of course you got your seven pin and a four pin hook up here for whatever trailer you'll be using. Also a backup camera right underneath, right above the Sevy badge. And of course, a soft release tailgate with a full spray in bed liner. All right, we're gonna jump inside, kind of show you guys some of the features we have going with this particular truck. Again, for all those tuning in, we got a 2016 Chevy Silverado 1500. LTZ trim. So it does have a few options that some of the lower trim models doesn't have. One right here is a charging pad. So for wireless charging, they do have instructions here. Nothing underneath here except your phone. So for, for, for smaller phones, so anything smaller than an iPhone Max Pro would fit on here. In here we got storage. We got two USB ports here, an auxiliary for, uh, for your iPod or MP3 player. And also you have a 12 volt plug in here. That's one good thing about this particular truck, the amount of charging options you have. So you could actually have your back passengers use the USB ports in here. And of course up here, we got more charging here for your passengers up front. So you have two USB up here, two 12 volts and one 110 plug-in. So your passengers have enough charging to last you guys the whole trip. Again, we did mention heated and vented seats for the front passengers. So the driver will be on the left side of the screen, turn in the vented seats on will show the blue light and then once you decide to go heated seats that red light will turn on so blue for cold red for hot you got three settings up here once you press it again it will decrease in the amount of heat or, or cold coming in through the seats and of course that will turn it off so Right here, we got an eight inch screen audio. When it comes to that, you have your different settings here. So you do have options for AM, FM, and satellite radio. When it comes to your media, you could actually pay your phone for Bluetooth to play all your music that way. Again, you have your options here to plug in about two phones active at the same time. This one does come with navigation. And of course, with this particular Chevy, once you connect it via Bluetooth, it could actually read your messages once you enable that setting. The newer Chevys, I guess with the different trim levels, you have that, but this particular one will read your messages for you. You could go into your inbox once you connect it to your phone and enable that setting. We're gonna go back to home we do have all your settings here from changing your time, going all the way down to Apple and Android capability, settings, your rear view camera, how to set up your guidelines, um, and of course, your rear parking assist. 
So if you would like your sensors to help you out when backing into your garage or just parking properly, those sensors can be set up that way as well. So going back to home, once you have proper Wi-Fi or signal coming into the screen, if you connect your phone, you can get you know all that set up here for, um, especially if your satellite radio, you have all that information here. You could get weather updates, traffic updates, and also it does have OnStar, which is a safety feature with Chevy and GMC products. Again, I do have that on my particular truck. I have Wi-Fi and I have the unlimited plan where you have unlimited data for one month. Uh, you do have, you know, if you're in an accident on impact, it will send a signal directly to OnStar. Somebody will actually call you to make sure that you're okay. There will, this vehicle will have a GPS on it. It will track your location, send ambulance, a fire, a police to your location and make sure the scene is okay and you are fine. So there's a lot of different options here when it comes to OnStar. There's different packages you guys could subscribe for. Very nice, you know, settings, a feature to have on, on your particular vehicle. With the Jeep products, RAM, you have Uconnect, and as you go forth with the different models, Lexus and all that stuff, there's different uh, apps for that as well. But with this particular vehicle, still has a CD player, so you have the option here for CD. Um, coming down here, you got all your AC controls down here. We have adjustable pedals, and again, with those adjustable pedals, you could actually set that into your memory bank. You got your traction off. You got your cargo lamp switch to turn it on. If you don't want parking sensors on while driving, and you don't want to hear that beeping sound every time you reach close to a, a particular item or a particular um, area, you could turn that off. But again, I would recommend leaving that on. It will actually help you. And of course, you got your descent button up here. We got storage in here, the glove compartment in here, cup holders, storage, and of course, glass case holder here. This particular truck doesn't have a sunroof, but it does have a rear window. So you have your rear window switch right here. Also, it has universal garage controls. When it comes to the steering wheel, we do have heated steering wheel. So if you press this icon right here, it will turn on this orange light and it will warm up your steering wheel, especially on cold days. Cruise control. And of course, you have hands-free calling, and it's and right here will give you all your options to toggle through your different settings in here. I mentioned the fog light earlier. This little green symbol up here will let you know that your fog light is on. And if I press this button, it will turn that off. So remember, there's different areas that will show you that symbol for your fog lights. This vehicle only has 63,754 miles. So if you guys are interested in, in this unit, it is available. You guys can give me a call at your convenience at 303-684-3412. Or you could call the store at 3400. You could ask for myself or Larry. You guys could also text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344. Or you guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwares.com. We got some great units coming in. Freightliners being built, coming in. A few of our 22s are be finishing being built. And then right after that, we'll have 2023s coming out. So we are excited for what we have in stock for you guys. In the meantime, thank you guys for tuning in today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. We have a great week ahead of us to present some awesome units to you guys. So thank you guys for always tuning in. Thank you guys for all your great comments. And of course, click that link below, like, share this video. And of course, hopefully we can do some business with you guys. In the meantime, thank you guys. And I will see you guys 
next time. Thank you.